So this is my ultralight sleep system that I've kind of come up with. I'm trying to save some weight on a trip, a uh, canoe trip. Usually weight isn't such a big thing, but uh, I'm going solo and I want to want everything as light as possible, but yet comfortable. And this is a big Agnes Q Cord Deluxe. It's heavy. It's 25 ounces, but it's really comfortable. The one thing I've found with these pads that's so important is you don't over inflate them. If you over inflate them, they just aren't that comfortable. You really want them really, really soft. I bring a pack uh, or a camp chair kit along with me always. And this ridge rest pad goes inside of that. And then when I'm ready for sleeping, I put the pad down here. I always put my life jacket under the head of the pad and then I have my pillow. So the bags is a Western Mountaineering bag, the main part of the bag. It's one pound. It's super lightweight construction. It's not particularly warm. I've in the Rockies I've got cold at it. Because it's sewn through construction, okay? It's just it's just sewn through. There's no baffles. Most bags have either a V baffle or a box baffle. And because this is sewn through, you lose a lot of heat through all these seams. So what I've done is I've got a silk liner that I bought years ago and when I used to travel uh, and use hostels, I would use this as sometimes all, all I needed was this silk bag. And just put it over. There's not, I don't feel there's enough room inside this bag to use it inside. And I also feel that with it over the outside of the bag, it traps that heat in there. And you're going to get a good 10 degrees more out of this bag, is my estimate. The liner's 4 ounces, so you got a sleeping bag with 1.4 ounces. Your pad system is uh, right 2 pounds total, 32 ounces. So you've got a total sleep system of 3 pounds, 4 ounces, which uh, is acceptable. And even though it's going to be a little late in the year, and I do have snow once in a while, if you wear a fleece inside this, this is going to be plenty warm. Although none of this gear, except for this ridge rest, is inexpensive. All of this stuff is expensive gear.